Hello everyone, Giltar here with a Common Rider action figure review for Rider Fest. This time we'll be looking at the SH Figure Arts G4 action figure. Now the G4 action figure was released at the same time as the G3X. Both figures were released in May of 2010 and both figures retail for 3200 yen or around the area of $35 or so American. Now, at a glance, the G3X looks like, you know, the main action figure, and then the G4 looks like a simple repaint. In fact, it's more than just a repaint. There's also some retooling done. The sculpt is somewhat different with respect to some armor components, such as the forehead, uh, crest, the shoulder armor, and even the thigh armor is somewhat different. So there are some fairly significant differences in the mold of the G4 compared to the G3X. Uh, you're not just getting a repaint. Uh, another thing to note is um, also the G4 comes with considerably less accessories. It comes with the uh, GM01 Scorpion machine pistol, which the uh, G3X has. Uh, the only other weapon accessory the G4 has is this missile launcher. I believe it's called the Gigant or Gigant uh, missile launcher. It's a large, large accessory, uh, and it's you know it's it's really actually nice looking. I like the look of this accessory. Uh, and aside from that, the only other accessories the G4 comes with is this sort of a, I guess, power cable that attaches from its hip to the missile launcher, which I'll show in a few moments. And aside from that, it comes with uh, a few extra alternate hands. Uh, by default, the figure comes uh, attached with two um, sort of closed fist hands. Uh, it has two extra sort of trigger finger grip hands, and it also has two extra um, sort of open splayed finger hands. It actually also has one extra splayed open finger hand with the, uh, the pinky and uh, ring finger slightly curved. Uh, and that's for, I believe, a specific pose um, achieved here where the G4 is holding the um, uh, Scorpion machine pistol with its trigger finger hand and then the other splayed open hand is just uh, sort of clutching the bottom of the pistol, supporting it, I guess, for steadying it when, you're, when, when it's firing the, the machine gun. So uh, I'm assuming that's what that particular hand is for because it does look like it's, it's cuffed just right to support a, a gun of that size. Now, with regards to the uh, missile launcher, I really like it. First of all, these missiles are all detachable. They all come uh, packaged, uh, um, or rather separated from the missile launcher in the packaging. Uh, how they attach is basically at the uh, end of the missile, there is a obviously a circular opening, and then there's a circular peg in, in the uh, recess here of the missile launcher. You just basically align it and peg it in, and then it attaches, and it's really secure and snug. Uh, another really interesting point about the missile launcher is that there's a hatch on the side that flips open, there's a hinge joint, and you attach this power cable, uh, one end here, and then the other end, which has a larger sort of adapter looking um, piece here, uh, plugs into the side of the uh, belt here where there's a, in a slot, an indentation for it. And just like with the G3X, the uh, Salamander, or rather the uh, Scorpion machine pistol, can peg on to uh, the side of the leg there, which I really do like. Now, as far as the uh, figure, the rest of the details, uh, there is one thing that I neglected to mention during the review of the G3X. Is that I really do like the look of the, uh, not really compound eyes, but the uh, the eyes of the G3X and the G4. They're not the traditional common rider compound insectoid eyes. It actually has a series of uh, horizontal lines running across, uh, which gives it a very interesting, almost like I guess electronic look, because these are not actual sort of uh, mystical common riders. These are people wearing these powered armored suits that resemble the common Rider motif or design. So uh, with that being said, that's pretty much all the details of this action figure. So let's head into the pros and cons. Um, just like with the G3X, um, you know, I have to state first and foremost, great likeness and accuracy to costume design from the show, or rather the movie that this character is in. Um, you know, great sculpted details, great paint applications. Uh, wonderful um, sort of functionality in terms of its uh, articulation and its ability to be posed in various ways. Uh, it, it's definitely helped by the various hand accessories that comes with the uh, action figure to allow you to pose the figure in, in some more interesting um, sort of uh, positions because, you know, the thing is a lot of people don't consider the hands uh, as an important part of displaying an action figure, uh, but the hands can actually convey and communicate a lot in terms of body language. 
So I really do like getting varied hands to go with my action figures. Um, I also really do like the uh, Gigant or Gigant uh, Missile Launcher. It's a large, hefty uh, accessory. I would say, in a way, it's more intimidating uh, than the um, uh, Kerberos Gatling gun that the G3X has. Just because you have these huge missiles uh, attached to this uh, launcher. Uh, so uh, those are pretty much all the pros. Um, let's move on to the cons. Like with the G3X, it's fairly expensive at 3200 yen or you know over 35 dollars american you're looking at a large amount of money going towards an action figure a toy um, now one of the downfalls about the price for the g4 is that it just doesn't have as many accessories um, now in terms of material just like the the mass of the material that goes into the accessories i think they're pretty much even because the the missile launcher here is l one large chunk of plastic and these missiles you know go with it are you know large bits of plastic as well but with respect to individual accessories, um, it's only really just two weapons and you know five extra hands that this uh, figure comes with. So some people may hesitate to buy it because of uh, the uh, sort of relatively low accessory count. Um, there's also questionable quality control in terms of the weapon accessories. I noticed on the missiles here that there's just these really obtrusive, ugly nub marks um, on the missiles themselves, on the launcher at the top. It's just, it's they're really rough. You can feel them. It's it's pretty atrocious. Uh, considering that this is supposed to be a high-end action figure, um, but the quality control here, the cleanup process, uh, you know, you might as well be talking about a $5 toy from, you know, uh, a local grocery store or something that, you know, sells these cheap toys. Uh, so I'm quite disappointed with the low level of uh, quality control for this, at least this figure of the G4 that I have. Um, so, I mean, th that's the balance. You have the high price with you know, questionable quality control combined with, you know, relatively few accessories. And you have to balance that against the really great sculpt, really great accessories, um, you know, of what you have, um, great articulation. And so I guess it's up to the person who's, you know, looking to buy something like this. You have to decide for yourself. To be honest, um, I, I, I can't really recommend this um, to people unless they're fans of the G4 character and design. Uh, because, you know what, to be honest, I would recommend the G3X over the G4. You just get a lot more for the same amount of money. Uh, but they're both great figures. I really like the look of the G4, and really, to be honest, it was purely the visual design of the, of the costume design and the missile launcher that uh, convinced me to buy this. So um, that's sort of my perspective on it. Because I liked the design so much, and I knew it didn't come with a lot, I was fully prepared to pay the money. I knew what I was getting into. Um, so this is yet another Common Rider figure review for Rider Fest. Uh, as usual, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and got something out of it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next video.